a wing. Do you have the wing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Basic, are there rocks ahead? If there are, we'll all be dead. No more rocks. No. Anybody want a peanut? <laughs> I literally don't remember movies ever. That's ridiculous. <sighs> Okay, well, we've been rolling. Hey guys, Jason Catroni. I am Katie Talbot. And we are Vocal Lab Collective. Collective. Were you waiting on me to start? I was. I uh, really was. Because I never yeah. want to over jump you. Yeah, you never should. Never should. <laughs> okay. Ever. Kidding. Um, hey, Katie. Hey, Jason. How I are you? I have red wine. You have like rose or something. Yeah, I'm doing a sweeter like dessert wine. Oh. Yeah, it's good. Cheers. Cheers. To that. Cheers. To hey, that. um, no, let's, uh, what, what are we doing today? We are taking it. Back. <laughs> we are taking her back. <laughs> I'm not sure if she knows. I kind of put her on the spot. Yeah, he put me on the spot. Yeah, but we're gonna I know... go. We're gonna go back to a legendary artist today, one of the biggest of all time. Yes. Um, coming from all of our Latin America friends, I think he was from Mexico, I believe. Uh, officially, that's where he was from. Vicente Fernandez. Yes. Yeah, this is gonna be so fantastic. This guy sold over 50 million records. That is such a huge accomplishment. Amazing. In the world. Yeah. In history, and he really. I didn't grow up listening to him, obviously, from yeah. growing up in small town Kentucky. That was not really my culture to to listen to a lot of him, but I've definitely know of him. I've seen him on TV. I've seen, I've heard some of his music. So I'm excited to kind of jump in today and get a little music history yeah. with Vicente. And, yeah. You know, his son is a huge artist too, Alejandro. <laughs> sold millions of record is, records in his own right. This family has made a huge stamp on the history of music. So we're going to react to Volver, Volver today. Which means come back. Return, return. Return. To return. To return. To return. To me. To me. I do love that movie. That's a great movie. We've, we we've been talking movies. Movie. Hey, let's jump in here. This is going to be so great. Woo. Oh, um, wait, 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 wait. Before we jump in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Oh, that's right. Hit that subscribe button. Hit all the buttons, all Follow the things. Follow us on Instagram, Patreon, TikTok, all, all of things. it. Here we go. Here we go. I love that suit. Oh my gosh. I want so that good. suit so bad. You've seen this guy. Yes, yes. What a boss. I really need to go to a, a true. Oh, yeah. A true mariachi yeah. concert like this. He's drinking whiskey. Oh, we're drinking wine. What swagger. I know. Hers are going backwards. What? He's so effortless. I love that. That you got it. That's got to be a move that, in your. That's in one your of my. Show. I'm gonna steal that move. Yeah. What an influence there. And I need a hundred thousand people in the audience, <laughs> like he does. But that's a move. God. What demeanor? You know. Look, he has his, in his suit, he has his initials. Oh, he sure does. That's a good, good spotting. I gotta get one of those suits. Ah, I love that. Ha! 
<laughs> wow. I loved every minute of that. Oh my gosh. That was so great. That was it like that was short. Yes. It was very short. It I was, was hoping it would like go on. Wow, he was incredible. Like it's so incredible. Yeah. Like everything about that was What a seasoned mm. just Poised, in control, confident, calm. Just calm, you know? So and I don't calm. know if y'all saw, but um, on his suit, he has his initials, which is so swag. That was so swag. I gotta, yeah. I gotta do that, You've too. You've got to do that. That's 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 a baller move, yeah. right? No, I'm with you. Like, it, to me, you know, I sit here and think um, all of them all of the people I looked up to, you know, I said at the beginning of this that, like, I didn't grow up listening to him just growing up in Kentucky. Right, same. Not being from a Latin culture or Hispanic culture and um, being exposed to some of that music, but not in a way that in any way did he influence me musically, right? Right. But Sinatra did, Tony Bennett did, Elvis yeah. did, and this guy carries the same level of swagger oh, and huge. confidence yeah. and poise on stage. Some of that, you guys, comes from uh, doing it. Clearly, this is near the end of his career. Yeah. Um, but still such vocal presence. Oh, for sure. So oh some gosh. of that, you know, comfortability on stage comes through time and experience. Mm -hmm. But I will say this, if you're singing in anywhere, Berlin, Manila, go down the list. If you're just starting out or if you've been singing for just a little while and you're still a little nervous or whatever, getting up in front of people, watch the greats like yes. this. Oh, just gosh. take their cues. Mm -hmm. These are life lessons. These are our entertainers lessons. Yes. And the art of entertaining is uh, somewhat dead in our culture today because we rely on on, uh, and this is actually a good point. We rely on videos and lights yes. in front of the artist. They can just stand there and not do much at all. Yes. And there's so much, you know, we're stimulated with so People many things. People don't understand the power of time. I like talk you about it all the time. So you have your time on stage. You don't have to rush it. He's just walking around in this well, just confident demeanor. And also <sighs> there's this one clip of Elvis where um, he's playing guitar and someone's playing next to him I'm almost positive oh yeah no, and so. he messes it up yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. he's just like oh hang on a second let's read yeah. just just the calm of the calm confidence there's yeah. also a classic story about Elvis where he fell off stage one time and he gets back up and one. just kind of like Goes right back into it. Goes right it's back like, into it. I mean, things happen when you're live. But, you know, I made the point about today, you know, how we have all the the visual stimulation for artists to feel like they're... And at some level, you got to have it, you know, because it's just where we are today. Right. But he had video and he had lights and he also had about 50 people on stage. <laughs> Maybe twice I remember taking my eyes off of totally. him. Totally. Totally. I watched him the entire time. The entire time. So much so you noticed even what was on his suit, uh -huh. a little detail, right? Yeah. That is a true boss, a true entertainer, and that's yeah. what I love about this. And that's why I, I'm just enamored with the greats and the legends of music history, and he is definitely one of those. This is yeah. fun. Yeah, and this was so good for you with your music on stage, too. Absolutely. Like, what a great... That's what I'm saying. I'm going to take some of those cues and some of those tips. Yeah, And you all take a cue and go listen to my music. Yes. <laughs> Drop that cue. <laughs> Hit it. Drop. Hit it right there on that Spotify <laughs> or your iTunes or whatever your Give little them platform two is. Two cents a song. Hey, <laughs> two cents. It is. Two cents. I'll take it. Oh my gosh. This was right? fun. This was, was so fun, fun you guys. We got to do more of these. If you guys love this part of the world and this, yeah. this genre of music, let us know because we will do more because it is so fun. Oh my gosh. It's so fun. <gasps> Maybe what? we can get Carlos out to dance for one of them. Yes. In like a really tight outfit like that. And a, in like and a, a sombrero. Sombr Arriba, Arriba. <laughs> He'll definitely, Katie is, <laughs> I don't think you can do that. <laughs> that... <laughs> Please don't cancel us over Katie's. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> can we edit that out? <laughs> Carlos can, because he's... He's, I'm um, Spanish. Where? Do I need to walk away? <laughs> <laughs> no, my great grandmother is full Spanish Mexican. You have never Grandma said that. Dito. You always tell me you're German. Yes, no, because I'm Spanish. Uh, my mom's side of the family came from Spain into Mexico, and then oh. yeah, then my great grandfather married a German, and then my dad's side is very strong German. Well, see, that's why we're the same because my family, the Catrones, have a there's a presence of Catrones in northern Spain where these Irish. See, here's the thing. Spaniards so it's okay that I did that because I come from that in South well, Texas. Well, now you've and won Mexico. over all of our friends from Latin America and beyond. Yes, yes. So y'all scared, scared me. Here we are. 
My great aunties are going to be like, Katie. <laughs> from Senor Catron and Senorita Talbot. We love this video today. It was so fun. Until next time, we are Vogelab <laughs> Collective. You thought I was going to do it in a... <laughs> oh, you already did it. <laughs> Katie, you're so Spanish that I... Or Mexican that I just used Spanish language and you didn't even pick it up. <laughs>